Making Caesar salad is a tradition in our house. This is what you'll need first. You'll need salt and pepper. So you grind some salt and pepper into the Caesar salad bowl, which is what we have here, made of one piece of wood. So it's a solid bowl. Then garlic. You can use as many buds as you like, but probably um, we'll probably use two for this uh, Caesar salad, which will feed two of us. Then egg yolk. That goes in next. You're going to see how in a minute. We'll just run through the ingredients first. Now, this is anchovy. You just pick one fillet out of there. You really do need that. Don't be squeamish about it. Just put it in there. Lemon. You will need about one-eighth of this lemon to be squirted in there. You want to be very careful. We'll cover that shortly. Keen's dry mustard. You can use this dry mustard or you can use any dry mustard you like. This is the one I was brought up on and you can get a hot version of that. Next is the olive oil. We use Bertoli. If you have something else that you like better, go for it. Red wine vinegar. Ours is homemade. We don't use the uh, store-bought. We have homemade. You can use store-bought. We just happen to have a nice friend who gives us some of his homemade. Then Lee and Perrin's uh, Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, whatever you call it. Now Tabasco few drops of Tabasco and then that will finish your sauce so we'll get started in a moment here's our romaine lettuce in the sink it'll be washed and then we'll spin it dry I'll show you the spinning process your lettuce must be perfectly dry. If you don't have a spinner, that's fine. Use a tea towel. Here's the um, Parmesan cheese. This is the kind my husband likes. I like the other kind that uh, is right off the block of cheese, but he doesn't like that kind. So there we go with the powdery stuff from the grocery store. This is bacon bits. We make our own, so we get a pound of bacon and we bake it in the oven. Instead of doing it on the stove where you get splattered with grease, I do it in the oven, I bake it. And then croutons. You can use uh, croutons if you like. Some people don't like it. Some people will just figure it's day-old bread and just more calories. That's up to you. Okay, we're starting with the salt, approximately a half a teaspoon into the bottom of the bowl to start the sauce. We then do half a teaspoon of ground pepper. Fresh ground pepper is best. This gives you a good base to grind your garlic. Take one good sized clove of garlic. wide bladed knife, pound hard, and it will peel the skin right off. Then take a, 
a knife and chop it up into the bowl as such. Now we're going to grind the garlic into the salt and pepper. I use a large table fork. In the first stage, it's easier to get it broken up. And I switch to a big spoon to crush all of the little pieces. Okay, we are now going to add an anchovy with the size of the salad that we have here. We're going to do half an anchovy. You don't need a lot of anchovy, just enough to get the salty taste in the salad. Crush it up and mash it up into the into the garlic. And I use the spoon just to make sure I get all of the chunks in and crushed. Okay, now we're going to add the egg yolk. And now we add the egg yolk into the salad. And we stir it in quite well with the paste that we have in the bottom of the bowl. At this point, we are going to add lemon. We need to just cut off an end of the lemon. Make sure we don't have any pits in it. And then we crush the lemon in. Not very much, just an end. So that's maybe a tablespoon. Not quite a tablespoon, but... Now we're going to put in some dried mustard. We use a small fork and we cover just the bottom half of it. Drop it in on top. And then we mix well. That was about a teaspoon of dried mustard. Okay, we will now add the oil. We're making Caesar for two with these proportions. So we're going to add five tablespoons. One, two, three, four, and five. At 
this particular point. We have to mix well. And it becomes more a texture of a sauce. Golden brown color. Now, after mixing it in, we're going to do red wine vinegar. And this, you have to be very careful not to add too much. I generally use three shakes of red wine vinegar. One, two, three. That's all. I will now do Worcestershire sauce. And usually about four shakes of Worcestershire. Two, three, four. And finally, Tabasco. And this you can make as hot as you want, but don't add too much because it becomes uncomfortable. I usually use one good shake of Tabasco. At this particular point, we just mix all of those in together. At this stage, I like to use the spoon. It just stirs it a little better. And then I can feed it all down into the bottom. Voila, your sauce. Okay, so we can... Uh... At this point, we're going to take the lettuce out of the sink and we're going to put it in the spinner. Here's the spinner. It has a basket with all kinds of holes in it and a bowl. This goes in here. The lettuce goes in here. Like so, Ron's gonna break it up. And we're just gonna put a little bit in right now. We would usually stuff this a little bit heavier than this, but just for demonstration purpose, we're not gonna stuff it as much as we would typically. Lid goes on, away you go with the crank. This gets loud. The lid comes off and you examine the lettuce to make sure that it is dry. For a Caesar salad, lettuce must be dry. And that's good shape. Good. Okay, now at this stage, the lettuce being spun, we will now tear it up into smaller bite-sized bits and we will drop it on top of the sauce until which time we will mix the sauce into the lettuce. But it can sit in this particular state for a while while you prepare the rest of the meal. And I generally... Okay, now we're at the stage where the lettuce is in on top of the, the dressing. And we are about to add our Parmesan. Now Parmesan uh, is a feel scenario where you must judge how much you want for your taste level. Some people like more Parmesan, some like less. I generally will put about four tablespoons on and then keep it handy in case I feel as I toss it that I need a little bit more. It's, you're always best to put a little bit too less on originally because you can always add more. I then add approximately a small spread on a little plate of bacon 
tossing all the bacon in on top. And then we add a handful of croutons. Now we are ready to toss. Two big spoons and it's just a matter of lifting the salad straight up and dropping it. And this takes quite a bit of tossing so that you get all of the leaves mixed in the dressing. You can also tell by the aroma as to whether you have enough Parmesan or not. And the Parmesan will add quite a bite to the salad. And I'm thinking at this particular stage that we're pretty good on this amount with the amount of Parmesan I have in there. I can see it quite thickly on the salad. It's mixed in quite well and the aroma is quite strong. So. Voila!